Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to find the y-coordinate of the centroid of the half right circular cone. So we have the exact same drawing as before. Here's our little slice. It's going to be a semi, um, well, it's going to be half of a disk, so to speak. The volume is still the same. The volume is still 1 half pi y squared dx. Remember that the height here is y. You can see that here as you follow the ridge from the origin to the top of that half right circular cone, the distance will always be y to the very top of the ridge. But in this case, the y coordinate of the centroid of the small little piece of the disk is this instead of the distance from there to the origin. So this is no longer the, the distance from the origin to the centroid, it is now the distance from the x-axis to the top. So the centroid of that small little piece is equal to 4 thirds y over pi. Now, when we write the equation to find the y coordinate of the centroid, it's going to be equal to the integral of that centroid of that small little disk, of that small little dv, times dv, divided by the integral of dv. Now, the denominator, the integral of dv, is still the same. It's still the volume of that half right circular cone, which is equal to half the volume of a full cone, and that we can easily write down. But let's put in all the things that we know so far. Again, we're going to integrate over the entire volume, which means we're going to integrate from 0 to h, and you'll see that in just a moment, from 0 to h. This is equal to the integral from 0 to h of the y-coordinate of the center of the small little piece, which is 4 thirds y over pi times dv, now dv is still 1 half times pi y squared times dx, and that's why you can see that the integral limits are going from 0 to h, that's a small tiny 0, there we go, divided by half the volume of a right circular cone, that is 1 half times the 1 third times the area of the base, which is at the bottom here, the radius is a, that's pi a squared times the height of the cone, which is still equal to h. The denominator now has the volume of a half right circular cone, and the numerator will now have the equation we need to find the y coordinate of the centroid. Let's take out some of these constants to make it look a little bit better. Y, oop, that would be the y coordinate of the centroid is equal to, in the numerator, we can take out, well, 4 thirds divided by 1 half is 2 thirds. This pi will cancel out this pi. That gives us 2 thirds times the integral. What we have left would be y cubed dx. In the denominator, we have 1 half times 1 third. That would be 1 sixth times pi a squared times h. OK, now we still have one problem. We have a y cubed and a dx. That doesn't match, so we have to convert. We have to write y in terms of x. Again, we take the very top ridge of that half right circular cone, and we realize that is the, that is the line of a, that's a straight line starting from the origin, reaching up to height a. So we can think of it as a y equals mx plus b equation. b will be 0 because it starts at the origin, so b is equal to 0. And m is the rise over the run that would be a divided by h. So we can write that y is equal to a divided by h times x. So instead of writing y cubed, we could write this quantity cubed, which means that this can be written as, well, let's see here, 2 thirds divided by 1 sixth, the 6 goes to the top, that's 12 thirds, that's equal to 4. So we can simplify that by 4 times the integral of a to the third divided by h to the third, x to the third times dx, in the denominator, the 1 6 is now gone, and so we have pi a squared times h. Notice that we can take out the a cubed and the h cubed, and we have an a, a cubed divided by a squared that leaves us with an a that is equal to, and the limits are still from 0 to h, from 0 to h, and so that becomes 4 times a, because a cubed divided by a squared is a, the h cubed can go to the denominator, that makes that an h to the fourth. We still have a pi, pi h to the fourth. And uh, all we have left now is in the numerator, we have an integral of x cubed dx going from 0 to h. And now we're ready to integrate. That becomes x to the fourth divided by 4. So this is equal to 4a divided by pi h to the fourth. 
and that becomes x to the fourth divided by four, and you can see that this four cancels out that four, evaluated from zero to h, and of course when we plug in zero we get nothing, so we don't need to bother with that, but when we plug in the h, this becomes a times h to the fourth power divided by pi times h to the fourth power, and the h to the fourth powers cancel out, and finally we realize that the y coordinate of a half right circular cone for the centroid of that half right circle cone is equal to a divided by pi. And that's a very simple answer to actually a quite complex problem. <laughs> so you can see that if you just take the, if you find the centroid of that small little half slice, and that is equal to 4y divided by 3 pi, and if you don't remember that, you can go to one of the previous videos where we showed you how to find that. Then you plug that in, you then all you have to do is plug in the y corner that that slice, we multiply the times the dv, which is still the same as before, and then you integrate, and you finally come up with a over pi. And that's how we do that.